Zain Abdul Qadir is a resident of Maghala and a single mother to her child. She used her income from her small shop that has been forced to close at the start of the conflict. In the past, I had a small shop. I had to close it down after war started. My child and I live alone. I have a sister in Saudi Arabia. If we had cell service in Tigray, I would have called her to ask for help. And I can't ask for help from people in the community because they too are facing a difficult situation. Zain says her sister was also supporting their mother before the start of the siege that had discontinued banking service. My sister used to call me every day. She used to support my mother and other siblings. But now banks are closed. The rest of my family are in Addis Ababa and can't come here or support us. Tigray is completely disconnected. Zain has been observing the Ramadan fasting season, fasting from down to sunset. But so far, neither her nor other members of her family have been able to break their fast with a proper meal. In the past, people used to have enough food during Ramadan. Thanks God. We had enough food in mosques and at home. They used to give us bread in mosques for free. Food oil was very cheap then. Time is really changing. Now, everything is hard. Zain Abdul Qadr and her family are just one of the millions affected by the ongoing blockade that had left over 6.5 million people in Tigray in dire need of humanitarian assistance.